today I have a haul to share with you guys today. Some items that I received in the mail. So I'm going to do some mini swatches, some mini swatches, some mini reviews and some swatches on some of the items. And I want you guys to tell me what you guys want to see, what looks you guys want me to create with these. I already have so many in mind, but I want you guys' input on it. So it is this cosmetic company and it's named Unique. The name is just so cute. So, um, they have cosmetic glitters, they have shimmers, they have foundations, lipsticks, and they have they have these. These are Cloud Nine, isn't that cute? And it's just a bunch of goodies. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of the items, and I want you guys to tell me what looks you guys want me to create with these. With this cosmetic company, you can have these forever. There's no expiration date. Like no expiration date at all and I was like what? Like that is awesome because you know when you buy makeup and it tells you like 24 months, 6 months, a year and you're just like damn it like you hate that you spent so much money and this product is only going to last so long. Well this has no expiration date which is awesome. And another fun fact is the foundation, this the powder foundation, you can sleep with it. Yeah, you heard me. You can sleep with this foundation since they don't put any oils in it, any chemicals, nothing. You can sleep with the foundation. So when she told me that, I was like, say what? Because we all have that habit. And don't you, don't, don't you lie. Because I know all of us have had that night where you're just too tired to take it off or you had a fun night and you're just too tired and you're just like, oh, I just want to go to sleep and just... You know what I mean? So we all have that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Like who doesn't want that benefit? You know what I mean? Like we have a hard day, we want to sleep and we just don't want to take off our makeup. It's okay. With this with this cosmetic company, Unique, you can do that, which is awesome. I thought that was freaking awesome because we all even though we don't want to admit it, we all do that. So, I got the the foundation, Mineral Foundation in Maple MF and nature mineral foundation so the maple foundation fits me perfectly i already played around with this and i applied it i was so impressed with how full coverage this is it is amazing so this is how it comes sorry so this is how it comes comes like this you just dab some in the in the um pan and then you just use their brush and you just like press it on your skin. Oh, it's amazing coverage. I'll insert a picture here so you guys can see. It's amazing coverage and that's just all powder. That's no foundation, no nothing. That's all powder, which is amazing. So let me go ahead and just, it blends into my skin. So there's maple, it just blends in right into my skin. You can't even really see it, but on my face you can see it. It's just, oh, I love it. Really impressed. I, I've never ever had a foundation that gave me that much coverage and looked that flawless so I was amazed so this other foundation this one is a natural F natural 4 F my bad and this I use underneath my eyes and my nose and just in the areas I wanted to highlight it's um it's a lighter shade of course but it goes perfect underneath my eyes my nose forehead and all the places I want to highlight so that's what I used for that in in the picture okay next I'm going to show you guys the shimmer powders shimmer powders are so gorgeous I use cinnabar and one of my looks that I posted on Instagram I'll show you guys I'll insert a picture so you guys can see it it is so gorgeous so this is cinnabar and it could not be any more prettier like look at that gorgeous so this is it right there oh so pretty look at that so gorgeous I love the way that color looks oh and you can use these matte these go matte as well if you just blend them out enough they just turn matte which is amazing so i love how gorgeous this color looks it is so pretty also you um can get this as well this is called stick it and you just apply some of course on your lid but i'm going to show you guys on my hand and it goes clear goes on clear and this stuff is amazing i'm so glad that I have something like this because I've never had anything like this in my collection. So I'm just gonna dip my finger in it and it just 
oh it just looks so beautiful and it stays in place like you get no fallout at all when I applied the stick it on my um, my eyes it just sucked right onto it it just sucked it in and it just looks amazing like look how beautiful that color is oh cinnabar is gorgeous okay so this is it without the stick it and this is with it with the stick it so when you apply the stick it you get it more it looks more metallic it looks more glittery glitter has looks like it has more glitter it just looks nicer without it it just kind of looks sheer um, so I prefer to use the stick it because of course when you use that it just makes it pop even more Okay, and another shimmer that I have is Roma, which is so pretty like look at that so pretty I haven't opened it yet. So I wanted to share it with you guys it's called pretty Roma is Ooh, So freaking gorge. Oh I love it. It just looks reminds me of a mermaid. I love it. It looks so pretty Next shimmer powder I have is Porto Taurus. I know I said that wrong and I butchered the name, but it's kind of like this pink gold pigment. Oh, oh she's so pretty. I got this color because I was like, I can use it as a highlight, I bet. I can use it as just like right above my Cupid's bow. And look at that gold and pink. Oh, so freaking pretty okay, and the last shimmer powder I have is in twilight oh this is another one that I'm probably gonna use as a highlight because it is just such a beautiful golden undertone it just looks so freaking pretty look how gold that is oh I just love the way they look look at that ooh, ooh, ooh. that is so pretty and that one is Twilight. Okay, next we have is a mineral body bronzer, and this one is Starshine. Starshine is so pretty. I used it as a highlight in the picture that I showed you guys. Oh, it is so freaking gorgeous. Look at that. It is so pretty. Like, it's just the perfect highlight. Like, it is just. Like, look at that. Oh, can you guys even see that? Like, look at that. I'm pretty sure I can use that as a pigment, too. Yeah, I would say you can use that as a pigment. Look at that. It's like. A copper peachy color so and then next I have is a cosmetic glitter and this was in multi gold look how pretty that one is gorgeous look at that ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that look at that oh so nice all these are so so gorgeous okay so next I have this crayon and it says crayon de ombre and it, it has two sides and let's just show you guys oh gosh even the crayons are beautiful jeez oh I could pop this right in my inner eye look at that Oh, that looks so pretty. So that's it right there. This is the dark shade and the lighter shade. Lighter shade is the lighter shade is really pretty. Just to pop in right here, it looks so pretty. Okay, and next, I have this lipstick in French Kiss. I also posted a picture on Instagram using this lipstick. It is so pretty. Oh, I love the way it looks. There it is right there. It's so pretty. It has like rose, rose, like a rose gold undertone and kind of like a pinky, pinky tone. I don't know. It is so pretty. I really, really like the way it looks. And here is the brush I was talking about that I used to press in the foundation. Here's the brush. At first I was skeptical because it feels kind of rough. But it's just because it's so calm, like compact right here, where it feels like that. But once you apply the foundation, so at first I grabbed it, put some in the cap, and then I kind of like pressed it, tapped it off, and like pressed in my face. Once I started pressing, I started seeing how much like the foundation covered, and it is just so amazing. So this is the brush right here that I use to apply the foundation. It feels it feels kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie, but once you like play around with it, it starts like. I don't know like it starts feeling soft 
because at first I played with it I was like oh it feels kind of rough but I don't know once you play around with it like it starts to feel like really soft and once I um, washed it and everything um, before I applied the foundation it, it worked for me so yeah this is the brush like how it comes in like this so you can just put it right back cover it so it don't get no germs and just put it away the next thing I want to show you guys is this cloud nine I haven't opened it yet opened it yet Prama Vera what? so next what I want to show you guys is the cloud nine primavera hopefully I said that right but this is it right here this is the most colorful one that they have so I want for this one this one is so freaking pretty and I like that it's stacked haven't played with them yet because again I wanted to record my first impressions so this is it really pretty really shiny and it looks so so pretty so let me just see how this is gonna even work okay oh <gasps> that one looks pretty okay. so be very careful because I almost untwisted it like so many times oh no look at that yellow the yellow looks pretty so I'm gonna grab some of that stick it and then swatch it so here's all the swatches from this tower thing, the Cloud9. They swatch pretty nice. They're really, really pigmented. There wasn't really a lot of fallout when I used the Stick It. It just glided on and it looks very, very nice. I like that it has a really nice sheen to it. And I just love that they're all vibrant colors. The yellow really, really pops out. I feel like there's a lot of sparkle in that one. The orange one looks really pretty. It's kind of like a peachy orange. The pink, I would kind of describe it as um, maybe like a baby pink. And then the pink next to it is kind of like a fuchsia pink. Then we have like this kind of jade emerald color right here. Green. And it kind of looks like it has a gold undertone. It's very, very pretty. Then we have another green over here. But this one kind of sticks out more and it kind of looks like an aqua color. Then we have like a deep, deep blue. This one right here is so, so pretty. I really like how that one swatched. Then we have a purple, kind of with like a silver finish in it. Really, really pretty. And then we have a black, kind of silver pigment. So all these are very, very pretty. I really like the way they swatched. I was really impressed just how it was just so easy to dip my finger in and just swatch them across. Um, I did use these two, these last two, I did use a brush. And even with the brush, it just swatched really, 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 really nice. They look really pigmented, and I really like the way they came out. So, yeah. So, those are all the swatches for this unique cosmetic haul. Let me know down below what you guys would like to see, what you guys would like me to try out, what makeup looks you guys want to see with them. You know what? The unique cosmetics, you can use their pigments, their shimmer powders, their... Um, the cloud nines all of these things you can use them for mascara you can use them for eyeliner for lipstick for so many things and nail polish i'll show you guys all that in the next video but for now let me know down below what you guys would like to see me create with any of the items that i showed you guys so yeah so let me know down below if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye